I'm going to give the massive Craig Goliath, one of the world's largest bodybuilders, what I think is a stack to help him lose fat, but also give more energy and more stamina. Because when you're as big as Craig is, you know, it's, it's exhausting, right? You, you get winded, you know, walking to the car, walking upstairs. Yeah. So, so Craig, I've got a recommendation for you. Uh, T3 thyroid hormone, which we're going to eat your lab work back in a couple days. We're going to know. I think you might have a, a slow thyroid because your energy level has been really low. Really low. Lately, you, have, yeah. you have symptoms of, of low thyroid. Um, so T3, carterine. Remember carterine, the, the research chem that increases your endurance, gives you more energy, lets your body access body fat for fuel more. Yeah. You're, just, you're just less winded. Like your cardiovascular system just works better. So for me especially, when I put on a lot of mass... Uh, it really helps me be more functional. Like I have more energy. I, and I have the energy and, and stamina as if I was 15 pounds lighter, you know. And then HGH at a really low dosage. So like the MK is fine. And you just take a little bit of that because it helps you burn, burn the fat also. And then Code Red Fat Burner. And yeah, I'm and taking it. Code Red Fat Burner. So that gives you energy and then also burns fat. And then some kind of nootropic. I think you'd really benefit. I know you don't like take medications and all that, but something like a modafinil. I'm not saying go all the way to Adderall. Sounds like right a flower. There, but yeah, the modafinil. Yeah. yeah, it does, huh? Yeah. But something like a modafinil or a nootropic to give you some more of the mental energy and, and motivation. And you're just starting to do cardio again. Yeah, yesterday. It's, it's hard to maintain the motivation for that. But if you also use a nootropic. Health. health. I've, I've been feeling sluggish, zero energy, just not myself. And I'm like, you know, let's get... You know, so you take hard, a pre-workout, right? Um, I take half a scoop compared to when I used to take oh. two to three scoops. So what's the difference between when you take a pre-workout and when you don't take a pre-workout? Um, there's no difference really. I take the pre-workout because I put it in my head, Craig, you have a pre in you, so let's crush this. It's kind of oh. more of a mind fuck thing, but I don't really feel too much from a pee. When you're, when you're around 350, 360 pounds of, of man, you know, like it's harder to feel things. Wow. Um, than like a normal guy, maybe yeah. like 200 pounds. Kenny's like, what, 180, you know? Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so you know, it's just, you don't feel it as good. That's what she said. Mm. You know? All right, but, so hopefully you'll report back to us because I'm going to get you some of these supplements. Yeah. And then I want to know from you how you feel differently. Because we got Olympia coming in one month and uh, you want to look, be looking good, but you know, it's hard when your energy level's low. Yeah. You know, so we got to get the energy level up. So let's up find, out, let's find out with the levels, how I'm looking and what we need to do to, you know. Yeah, get... that'll be an amazing video. Analyzing our blood work. Kenny, Craig, and I all comparing our blood work coming in a few days. Be swole and swole, friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution.